what's going on guys and welcome back to a new video so it's been a few months i know and the car is now bright white uh could be a little bit better to do with spray cans like i was saying that i was going to do i'll insert a few clips of me doing it now here we go <laughs> You fools find this. And also, we've been to the Nürburgring, so I'll also put some videos or some clips in of me going around there. Absolutely amazing, great experience, you can't really put it into words, people that have been there you know, but if you haven't been, get yourself there because it's absolutely amazing. The car did well, um, just got to upgrade a few bits, I noticed that um, fuel pressure was um, like decreasing when on the load, so I've got a 255 out of this that I'm going to put into there because I upgraded that, uh, and also it was pushing coolant now. At first I thought it was a head gasket, so I've checked everything over. Um, while we was over in uh, Germany, just looked for signs of head gasket. And I had quite a lot of people with me as well, and they looked over it. And, you know, basically we just think, because it's running a half radiator, that it's just getting a bit too hot. Check the thermostat. The thermostat is uh, working, it's opening. Um, but I don't know whether, just with a flow, um, it's not really working with a half rod. So I spoke to the boys at XR Racing sent me a full rad i'm going to put that in we're also going to put in the walbro 255 as well um and i'm hoping within the next couple of weeks we'll be back on track at cadwell because while i've got this motivation i want to keep pushing and um, get as much track time as i can now between now and the, obviously um christmas time uh in the background i am getting this ready as well so as you can see charging the battery up um back end of this week it'll be going up to gillies i'm going to do all the brake lines once the brake lines are done then i'm going to take it for an mot but um yeah so i hope you enjoy this guys um if you're not subscribed please subscribe um if you could give us a like as well that's much appreciated now let's crack on 
So I've already started preparing the car, um, taking the little half rad off. I've got it all loose, drained out, uh, thermostat off. Uh, where am I? Yeah, just down there. Actually checked it in here and it works. So I put it back in. I've actually drilled two holes at the top, so that should help with a bit of flow and also uh, cooling. You don't want it running too cool because obviously it's got to get to an operating temperature. So, next thing is to take the front bumper off, because believe it or not, there's a nut underneath here that I can't get to. Um, and I need to pull the, the radiator out as well, and a few other bits. Bumper's off, rad's out. And this is the radiator that we're replacing it with. So in here, we have the Tegua K-Swap uh, rad. This is, again, full-size rad. So it should hold, I think it's like 5 litres, if I'm not mistaken. Let's get it out of the box without breaking it. There you go. So put it at the side of that and you can see. One second. And that's the size difference, boys. So one was running and the new one. So it's pretty much the same thickness, just obviously smaller ones half the size so let's get to it so I've uh, bought a new mounting kit for the uh, radiator fan I had to cut the wire in disconnected the battery by the way just in case you're wondering but yeah so I'm gonna cut the fan off here put it onto this one and then they can start having a look down here and how to mount it so I've got to take the mounts off take these existing mounts off I'll cut them off and then look at either drilling and rib nutting some obviously in the new locations and uh, see how we get on right so i've got the radiator in and got it centered up as you can see center line here so just looking at room looks like we've got plenty of room that side that's going to be a little bit tight on there but it's what it is i'll see if i can kind of manipulate the air filter slightly back so it doesn't catch as much um and then yeah down here i just need to mark where these new tabs are going to go um, and then get rid of the old ones the only thing we've got to kind of work out is where the um, expansion tank's going to go <laughs> it's a bit tight so it's not going to go over there anymore it's going to be down here somewhere I ain't got a clue where it's going to go but anyway we'll sort it so we're slowly getting somewhere now taking that bracket off I think I'm going to leave this one down here because it doesn't interfere with anything and uh, I could use it for something later on I think so I'm just going to leave that one um, I'm just going to patch repair where I've been grinding and not do the bracket off so yeah get that all sprayed up once that's dried put the radiator back in again um, obviously level it up and then see where I need to drill with some brackets my only concern is that I don't really know how I'm going to get a drill in here. <laughs> it's going to be tight. Tight like a tiger. This side it's not, not a problem. I can get the rivet gun in there as well. But this side's a little bit tight so I'll probably have to go at an angle or something like that. Which isn't ideal but it is what it is at the end of the day. Because I ain't pulling the motor to do it. So while the paint's drying, just painted that up. I'm going to go into the back of the car. And then start messing about with the pump in the back. Start pulling that out. So going through the back way. Oh. So I've already, as you can, can, sorry, as you can see, I've already removed one of the lines. Just need to take that line off, and then these 10 mil bolts, and then that should lift out. I think this is pretty much anything that hasn't been off the car. I think everything else has, or it's been molested anyway. Right. This is probably going to be a bit fiddly. second let me put you down well that was straightforward enough 
so hopefully I should be able to get the wall bro down there to work in here we'll see anyway well I think we looked out here with the wall bro it's exactly the same size as the existing plump pump sorry not plump pump um, so it sits in the cradle perfectly gonna put the line over it now put the little fixing fixing on uh, earth to the um, the frame and then run the power into this wire here cut that connector off and then she's ready to go in so literally simple as that so buzzing that's one easy win well, that's a fuel pump all ready to go probably the easiest pump I've ever done so 20 minutes I just had an issue with this um, little earthing um, screw the old, well the one that came with it actually sheared so I've had to can't even see it but anyway take my word for it I've had to replace that drill it out and mess about gonna use the old sock because you know it's fairly clean and it fits and it worked with the old one so I'm just going to send it with that because you've one that I've got is flat and it isn't like at an angle like that one so yeah I'm going to send it see what happens put it back in um, and then we'll go, once it's got radiator on can make sure it all works right so I've got the radiator in again so all this is dry down here I've got the mounting bracket there and the mounting bracket there as well so just going to mark up where the hole is well I'm going to line these up anyway um, then mark mark up the hole as you can see it wants to fall but uh, yeah it's going to get down to that and then obviously where this hole is here I'll just drill into the, the frame put a rib nut in or whatever I've got that'll hold the bracket and then I need to build some brackets up here probably come underneath here onto the, over the top so that's one bracket fixed and what I'm going to use on this next one like I use on that one is this little uh, insert and then obviously when you tighten it up it expands and then locks it in so pre-drilled my hole here wind that in there push the bracket up put the fixing in and then obviously tighten it up and it'll end up like that one there so that's both the brackets installed now very rigid indeed so happy with that um what i've got to do now tighten the firm start up I think that's pretty well the firmest that housing I think that's pretty much how I'm going to run it at that angle um, and then obviously I think the outlet for the radiator is down here so that should be fine I know the top hose clears and then I need to mount the uh, radiator onto the sorry <laughs> the fan onto the radiator over here so I'll get that done alright so I've made two brackets one's already well not fitted but that's kind of how I want to position it and then here's the other one just stuck to the top which will go this side issue is that it's not really sitting I wanted it to sit tight underneath um, the slam panel but it's not so I'm gonna notch away at the slam panel here just cut a bit out so it'll sit a bit further up and then it'll hold it down a bit more snugly and then I'll do the same thing here so I'm just gonna notch this side out make it a bit square and then that should sit where my finger is in that hole um, yeah so once the radiator is out again for the hundredth time just tighten up this um, thermostat housing um, and that's pretty much it because I know that this top pipe clears a lot better than it used to that one there will be alright I'm gonna run the uh, fan fan switch and temp sensors where they were I'm not going to put them onto the rad for now so I'll just tighten all these little bits down and then once we've got the two hoses on should be alright to fill her up so here we go just mounting the fan onto the radiator now so push these through these little tabs they've got like a little spring down here a little clamp thing whatever it is whatever you call it just drag it down like that so it goes down there compress the spring and that keeps that in and then I'll just wire in the fan to these wires here we should be uh, good to go right so radiators in coolants in uh, batteries now on made a bracket here still got that one to sort out don't judge me I'll get it sorted I've ordered a reservoir that'll go over there hopefully and that's pretty much it so just going to start her up turn her over 
uh, and start bleeding her up. So that's the car all blood up, left it for about an hour, just like ticking over, uh, topped it back up again. No, well, a bit of leakage on the floor, but that's because I took the cap off while it was running and it was fucking pissing everywhere because it must come through the pipe and then work its way down there and come up. Um, good news as well, obviously, with the fuel pump, bang on now. The um, fuel pressure doesn't drop at all, just sticks it to what I set it at, so 50 psi. So buzzing with that. Um, I have actually ordered a aluminium reservoir, so I'll install that probably off video. So, um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, happy with what I've done so far. Seems to be working. Um, the cars run a little bit cooler as well, which is nice. Um, but anyway, I'll try and get a track day booked kick its head in and see what happens but uh, i hope you've enjoyed this video um please like share subscribe do all that mad stuff and i'll catch you on the next one bye <laughs>